Today, Saturday evening, August 22 in 2020, and I hope the the descendants of the blessed holy people of Israel had a nice Sabbath celebration today. And I was also having my kind of relaxation time this day. I also had a nice time thinking about content in the Bible. Nevertheless, with a very good revision according to the Masoretic text. And this one is the publication that was just distributed in the year 1917. I like it this way. And I was reading about these seven days, or rather seven light periods of creation. I would rather believe that this would be proper to say. And anyways, it dawned to me regarding uh, the brothers Abel and Cain. Since Cain was the first one, the first born son, and he had the idea first just to make a sacrifice. Looks like since he was young, unexperienced, it might even have been a bad idea for him to make a sacrifice when the sacrifice includes something material. Today I'm doing a little experiment. I already get my Bible here. Genesis. I believe that we can gather information what the holy man Enoch has accomplished in terms of following the law, the commands by the absolutely holy, merciful, powerful creator and therefore his Lord God. Enoch's Lord God for real. Therefore the only God, the only real God in the world and practically creator of the world. There happens to be a sentence that I remember by heart that Enoch walked with God and that's in Genesis also the holy man Noah he walked with God Enoch did the right thing after you know uh, he has begotten his son Methuselah now we see how glorious and absolutely powerful in intelligence the holy Lord God happens to be the Bible happens to be correct it cannot be wrong it reveals what happens to be hidden all the time <laughs> praise the Lord God forever and forever for sure well in one way or another this experiment has failed on one side but proved me right on the other side because I'm reading this and the Lord saw that the wickedness of men was great in the earth and that every imagination of thoughts of his heart was only evil continually and it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth and it grieved him at his heart and the Lord said I will blot out men from whom I have created from the face of the earth both man and beast and creeping thing and fowl of the air for it repenteth me that I have made them but Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. This happens to be it.
Uh, that Noah didn't only found grace, but he walked. Noah walked with God, and Noah begot three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And uh, the Bible happens to be so powerful. My body, therefore, was, was vibrating to warn me. Um, my brain didn't work enough. You see, in one way or another, my experiment proved one thing. I am not even good enough to believe in the power of the absolutely holy good enough and in the great mercy and in the great truth and in the great revelations my body want me well, my brain won't follow I'm sorry about it that I don't have enough belief I could never gain it even if I even when I say the truth staring right in my face I'm sorry for this I must apologize for this. Enoch lived sixty and five years and begot Methuselah. And Enoch walked with God after he begot Methuselah. Three hundred years and begot sons and daughters. After. That means not before. And therefore, the age matters. Enoch's father, Jared, lived a hundred sixty and two years and begot Enoch. And Jared lived after he begot Enoch eight hundred years, begot sons and daughters. In other words, what did Enoch wrong? Well, he did what his grandfather did. He begot a son when. Enoch was quite young, 65 years old, and in troublesome times, we shouldn't procreate so quickly, but nevertheless, Enoch did. But on the other hand, Enoch lived only 365 years, and then he was taken. In other words, he didn't consume as many resources as others did others because of a long life no no that was a compromise what Noah did was perfect you know he did all that was required he waited before he begot the sons in difficult times then he begot his first son And he also walked with the absolutely holy. I know, and that happens to be it. And regarding walking, you know, it also has to do with the command go forth and multiply. So, first, somebody has to go forth, somebody has to walk, and then multiplying happens to be the next step. And in difficult times, it should be delayed. Then the walking takes longer, and one gets older. Hmm? Or somebody doesn't get that much old at all and gets taken by the absolutely holy at an age comparatively much younger than others have reached. It all happens to be about resources. That happens to be the case with population growth and overpopulation. So, of course, I couldn't blame others. Not that much, but I blame them for not, at least, listening to audiobooks, Bible audiobooks, reading Bible ebooks. And then start talking about overpopulation or not before. Uh, you don't get along with the others to live a long life on earth, but a long life in heaven. Or I should be rather say an eternal life, eternal, but I guess only the chosen, the elect, would truly 
believed and finally knoweth because after belief comes knowledge so you see I'm faithful but I couldn't be that much faithful as the real descendants of the Israelites because I'm the result of mixed marriages between the real descendants and those who are not descendants of the Israelites at all it practically corrupted my identity and my ability to really conform with real belief since I'm third generation corruption hit me like a sledgehammer and I wouldn't recommend that to anyone else you know that level of corruption that results from mixed marriages I call that New Testament new tales that should be the correct title of it see because in this new tales you got these nasty changes of historical events and additional fictional events mixed into them I know that doesn't work on the long run in the experiment I've already done I couldn't even anticipate to find so much information regarding measures for overpopulation and the destructive events that already happened and that will definitely keep on happening now you know these days within this century the 21st century because history gets in one way or another repeated yeah I photographed the moon through a window I made the photograph in the evening while the Sun was on the right side of the moon and it was already deeper on the horizon than on the horizon than the moon so if the Sun would shine directly against the moon the left upper part of the moon would be less illuminated that happens to be when you shine when you illuminate an object that happens to be round okay therefore we're not living on the planet I rather believe that those so-called space programs they're all fake that I believe but I don't even have the strength to fully believe in the Bible even I know it must be real the strength happens to be only there for the true descendants who have not gotten corrupted by mixed marriages the true descendants of the Israelites